Hi. How are we all doing? <laughs> you might notice, you might not. Yeah, because I'm supposed to be looking over here, but I keep looking over there at myself. I'm filming on a new camera because my old one broke on Catalina Island. Yes. <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. It was not okay. The lens. I'll I'll just show you. Hold on. The lens is stuck open, won't shut. At first, it was like stuck out here and it was dented. That had happened once before and I was able to just push back in and it worked fine. But this time it was not the case. It fell off a golf cart, landed directly on the lens. There was a pretty view. I wanted to put my camera on top of the golf cart. I was like, oh my God, this is such a good view. The wind picked up and it pushed my camera down and it broke. I tried dropping it on the exact same spot to make it like fix the lens again, did not work. And what sucks, what's a bummer, the screen and everything worked. It was just the lens that was like trapped, wouldn't come in. Fast forward, I get back home to Utah. I show it to my dad. He tries bashing it with a rubber hammer to make it go down and it worked. As you can see, it is much down, further down than the photo, but we did not get it down further enough. So at this point I was just like, okay, and then we were thinking about like going to get it repaired, but we were like, hey, that's that'll cost some money. Why don't we try taking it apart ourselves with this little tutorial? So we tried that, me and Hunter, we tried that. We were unscrewing all the parts of the camera and like less than halfway through, we were like, this isn't gonna work out. How are we gonna put this back together? Like bad idea, should not have done that. So we put it back together and we ended up having five extra screws. So we obviously put it back together wrong. And by me, I mean Hunter, he did most of the taking apart and putting back together, I just watched. So now, like obviously you heard the beeps, like it's okay like it won't turn on so i ended up just buying a new camera i was gonna do that anyway because repairing takes a while and i don't have a while I needed a new camera ASAP. Eventually I'll get this one repaired so I can have two cameras. It'll be good. For now we got this. Now I have two cameras. Well, I actually have three cameras. I kind of have like a small, medium, large. So I'm excited. This one, the flip out screen is on the side. With this camera, obviously the flip out screen is up. So when you're staring at yourself, it's kind of like easier. But this one, obviously like right now I'm looking at the camera like, hey, hello, what's up? Mwah. But when I look at myself, I'm looking that way and it's way more noticeable. So that's kind of scary. But I have a new camera. How fun is that, right? This is a long rant. I'm super sorry, but my camera did break. So now that I've got that out of the way, filming on a new camera, hello. Today's video is gonna be about making my Instagram look hotter. I thought of this idea a few months ago, like February. It's April now, it's almost May, but I'm filming this now instead. I was just looking at my Instagram feed and was like, this is very mediocre. Like it's not good. I'm not really enjoying my Instagram feed. That's what I was thinking. Since I thought of it, it has improved a little better, I would say. And that could also just be that it's spring now and not winter. I lose followers every time I post an Instagram photo. Is it because I'm ugly? Do people not care about my Instagram anymore? <laughs> Super big issues, right? Let's go through my Instagram. Let's see real quick. As you can see, like my latest few posts, they're not bad. These are fun. This is <laughs> the golf cart that I broke my camera on, but like we got some good photos there. Have a little fun video that I edited of Laguna Beach. Love these photos of me in Laguna Beach as well. I edited them nice. And I'm kind of like including like some fun quotes and like screenshots of shows, SpongeBob photos. SpongeBob photos are always aesthetic. They'll always make the feed look good. Cause I don't want my Instagram to like just be like those same photos of myself over and over again, right? So I like, try to mix it up. But if we scroll down, like a lot of these are just mirror selfies or like, they haven't been amazing. Looking back to like February, like this photo. Ah! The point being, I don't hate my Instagram, but I want it to be better, which is what today's video is going to be. My Instagram has had its ups and downs. Right now, it's kind of in a down position. It's okay, but it's not everything I want it to be. So today and yesterday, I went shopping. I got some supplies at Dollar Store. And today I went to the thrift store. Haven't gone thrifting in a while. Was super overwhelmed. Got this giant ass bag of stuff. Basically today, throughout the next few days, I am going to be stepping on my Instagram game and you're probably thinking, how are you gonna do that? I wrote some ideas in my notes of a few photo shoots that I'm gonna do. And I think they're gonna turn out really well. So 
I'm gonna use these ideas and I'm gonna do photo shoots with them, probably with my new fresh clear camera. And we're gonna be stepping on my Instagram. I'm going for like magazine shoot. Like I'm going for like professionalism right now. I want people, I want people to scroll past and be like, whoa, this is an upgrade from his previous posts. I'm gonna comment. I want everyone to look at it and be like, oh my God, this is another level. This is on another level. So I hope we achieve that today. I have about like five photo shoot ideas, like five separate shots. One of them being major. And we're gonna do that at the very end. So stay tuned for that one. It's gonna be super intense and crazy. I just got back from the gym. My hair is not done. It's just put up with a hat. So I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I haven't eaten one thing today and it's 6 p.m. I'm so hungry. <sighs> we're gonna do our first photo shoot tonight. And I've been talking for 14 minutes now. Let's get right to it. Hi, I'm out of the shower now, which means it's now time for our first photo shoot. Yeah. So it's dark out now, which is actually what I was planning. I was kind of planning this photo shoot to be happening in the dark. My hair is drying right now from the shower and I'm kind of thinking actually that I want it to be kind of like a damp look. So I'm planning on having the photo shoot in this area, like right here. I'm gonna move these chairs and for this photo shoot, I have these things. There's like a glittery silver one, and then a purple one. I honestly don't know. Which, I might just use both. I don't really know the setup. I don't even know how long they are either because obviously they're from the Dollar Tree. It's not gonna be like so long. But hopefully there's enough that it will like fit where I want it to on this wall. This white button up shirt I'm gonna wear with just some black jeans and a belt. And I wanted to get a disco ball. I looked for a disco ball, could not find one. Didn't get one on Amazon because it would take two days and I'm doing this now. But like this I'm envisioning, I'll be sitting like right here and I'm just envisioning maybe like late night club, like dressed up nice. Damp vibes, I guess. That's what I envisioned for this first photo shoot. So let's see how it goes. And let's begin to set it up. It's been a few hours since I last talked to you. It's actually almost 11 p.m. now, but I did just eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I'm feeling good. Feeling a little bit more ugly than I was a few hours ago, so that's not good, considering that we're about to do a photo shoot where we're supposed to look good. Now let's set up the photo shoot. Let's see how long it is. The inside of this is like kind of mirrored and cool like that. I'm conflicted. Do I do the purple or do I do the reflective paper like this? I don't know if we really want purple in this particular photo shoot. So I think I'm actually gonna go with like the reflectiveness. So it's not long at all. I'm just gonna hang them up with a bunch of push pins. Backdrop ready to go. Really wish I had a disco ball. Hopefully it's at the right length. Okay. I think this is what we're gonna have to work with. Let's put on the outfit in three, two, one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I feel like I could be on like a beach dinner, somewhere tropical. I'm not putting on shoes because you won't be seeing them anyway. I feel like I need like a necklace, like a ring. I think they have rings in my bathroom. They're very shitty rings, but they're rings. But we have to go to the bathroom anyways because there's one final step we're doing. I have something that always makes me feel hotter. I've actually done this for Halloween, and all you need is this thing right here. And you basically just put it under your eyes. And it makes me feel 20 times hotter. I'm not even kidding. So we're just gonna do... A little dash right there. We're gonna make it kind of prominent here. And then we're just gonna rub it in. It looks kind of messy right now. I don't know if I love this or hate this, but we're gonna go with it. I'm kind of getting pirate vibes, like I should be on a ship. Ooh, I'm getting... <laughs> that kind of gave me dancer vibes. Who knows what we are? My rings are in here somewhere. You're falling. <laughs> Good thing I noticed. We don't want two broken cameras in the span of two weeks, do we? This, you guys, I found a necklace. But do we need the necklace or do we just need rings? I need the necklace because it's like a disco party. Oh my god, that was bizarre. We're gonna try and put this necklace on with our sweaty big fingers. Oh 
Oh my god. Putting on necklaces is the most difficult thing in the world. Like, opening things, like, it's definitely up there in, like, most difficult things to do for me. Like, why is it just this tiny little hook? Like, can't they be, like, magnetic or something? I mean, those probably exist. Oh, I was so close. Like, it's so hard. We did it. Was it even needed? <laughs> Look at me have a necklace on now. Like, okay. Oh, I found one. I found one ring. Ew, with some hair attached to it. We'll just, oh, it doesn't even fit. It only fits on my pinky. Would this be good for a photo shoot? Well, we have one pinky ring. Let's go attempt this photo shoot. My tripod works pretty good. I think I can use my new camera to take the photos. I have a bigger camera. This one has a viewfinder so I can like look at myself to like see how the photos look as I take them. I'm gonna have to take tighter photos because it's just me. So let's get this baby hooked up. Now for that bit of vibrant neon color, I'm gonna get one of my tie lights that all fell off my wall. And I'm gonna plug it in over here. This is what it looks like from my shooting area. This is kind of scary. Okay, how am I going to get this how I want? I think we're getting somewhere. I want to get one like with my legs, but it's not gonna work, is it? Midway through the shoot, one of my things fell off. It's still hooked onto the nail though. I mean, I did get it from the Dollar Tree, but I'm improvising. And I, I think I'm getting some pretty good shots. There's a lot of bad shots in there. I looked through them, a lot of bad shots, but there's a lot of good shots too. So I have hope. Tried a lot of things. Hopefully something turned out okay. Tell me how I just took 50,000 times better photos just in this mirror doing shit like this. Then over there where my whole setup is. At least I got two different photo sets with one uh, look. It just ends up being better when I don't even try. I feel okay with it. I think it's just because I feel like I look better in mirrors. I don't know. I'm gonna edit these. I'm gonna take all the photos right out of this little camera. Lay in bed, get out of this, get some nice comfy clothes on, and now edit two different photo shoots. Because I just took another full photo shoot. Wish me luck. Pray that these turn out good. Good morning. I didn't end up going to bed until like 5 a.m. Why did I get up at 9.30 a.m. after that? The world may never know. I'm about to go get a chai latte and a bagel from Joe's coffee shop. And, oh, it's hot in here. Last night, I went through my photos. I took 300 and like 50 something, like 350 photos from the one shoot. So I went through all of them, deleted the bad ones, and then I ended up with like 212. And then I went through them again and did like another process of elimination. Ended up with about 70 edited ones. And then 15 from the mirror photo shoot that I didn't even plan on doing that just happened. So with just our first photo shoot, I already have 85-ish photos. I think that 
that they turned out pretty good. Like, some of these are probably the best photos I've ever taken. Considering that, while well, last night I was like, oh my god, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like these are gonna be bad. Which I always think that. Why do I underestimate my power? They turned out good. My vision did come to life, and I'm happy about it. Like, I don't know what one I'm gonna post first. Like, this is so hard. You guys might look at my Instagram and see the ones I posted first and be like, why did you post that one first? Why didn't you post this one first? But at some point, I'll probably post all of them, which is a good... My Instagram's set for like years now, honestly. For the next photo shoots, I definitely will not be taking 350 photos because like I said, I was up for four hours from 1 until 5 a.m. editing like 400 photos. Oh... <sighs> I did that all in one night. Good lord. And we're not even close to done yet because today I have, I think I'm gonna do two photo shoots today and I plan on doing them during the day, hopefully. Maybe I'll do three photo shoots today. It just depends on the timing of how everything goes. So yeah, I called Joe's and it says they're busy, which means they're talking to someone else. Oh my god, it worked. Yes. Can I get two turkey and avocado bagels? Alrighty, I'll get them started. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'm gonna brainstorm of which photos to post first because I think I'm gonna post the first set today, but I do need to tone it down on the other ones. We need to tone it down to like at least 100 photos to go through, not 350. I will say, with this first photo shoot, I think I did get like the magazine or like a professional photo shoot. The main goal here is that I want these to look like I didn't just do them myself on like a little tripod. I want it to be like someone's like photo shooting me like boom, 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 and I'm like ah, 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 you know? So I feel like I really captured that with this one, and I hopefully I do with the rest. Well. So I got my coffee. It's not coffee. It's actually chai. It's a tea. I should be so tired right now. I slept for four hours. I think I decided what ones I'm gonna post. Where's my phone? Right here. It's kind of like the lighter set. I'm gonna caption it reflections. Gonna post it when I get home. We'll see how it goes. That's all. <laughs> this is the big moment, y'all. Oh my god. <gasps> it's taking quite a while. It well, view insights, it better have a thousand likes already. Oh, okay. It's been a few hours since I talked to you last. I've set up the shots for photo shoot number two. And photo shoot number three, we have a little double set going on here. Actually, for this shot, I was gonna use this glittery stuff, but I actually think the purple might be cool because I'm gonna be putting these glittery smiley face stickers all around my face. And I was gonna max mat mix match mix match i was gonna do that with these right but then i thought olivia rodrigo just posted her album cover with stickers on her face as well which is kind of funny and her background is purple so maybe we'll do like a recreation moment and if it looks like shit then i will go with the glitter that i originally thought of and this shot right here we're gonna be using these lovely flowers and you're thinking what are you gonna do with those flowers i'm gonna put them in my hair so it's gonna be like a fun little springtime hair flower moment i'm excited for this one we're gonna be like bright colorful. I'm gonna go shower. I don't think I'm gonna get my hair wet. It takes so long for my hair to dry and get in its like form, you know? Since I'll be putting flowers in my hair, I think I'm gonna actually use like a curling iron and curl it like fully. Like it's gonna be like major. We're gonna go super curly mode. We're gonna actually use a curling iron, apply some heat, and then I feel like it'll be more bouncy for the flowers to stick in. I feel like that'll work better. So I'm gonna do these and then depending on the time and what the sky looks like, I have one for our fourth photo shoot or I guess fit. That one's outside. I would also like to mention that it's been a few hours since I posted the first set of photos and I have gotten the validation. So at least that means they're good, right? I'm gonna go get ready. I'll, I'll be back with you. I didn't burn myself once today. I'm super proud. So now let's go get dressed and put the flowers in my hair. For this shoot, I got this pastel -y yellow colored shirt. It matches the yellow Red Bull that I'm about to drink. Mmm, I've never tasted that one before. I'm thinking for this shoot that I'm maybe gonna button it at the top. Last night's photo shoot was a bit more like 
sexy. But I think this one might be a bit more like, you know, like flower power. I'm gonna have to cut these flowers and somehow stick them in there. That's our next task. I kind of want my face to be like glowy. Like I want it to have like a glowy spring dewy vibe. And that's hard for me because my skin is awfully dry all the time. The buttons of this shirt are on the left side. That's new for me. Wait, what's the deal with this? What's happening? There's like two sides. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna button the top one till the end because that is uncomfortable. Hi, I was just wondering if you wanna go to the arcade or to dinner, to a movie. Just imagine me like at like your front door set with like a 70s vintage filter. Hey, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to maybe go to the movies with me. Yeah? Okay, I'll pick you up at seven. We're just gonna like... Maybe we could just like not even cut it at all. No, we're gonna have to cut it. God, these um, Dollar Tree flowers are like kind of not as easy to cut as I thought they would be. Oh my God. This is gonna take so long. Jesus. There's like a, oh my God, there's a metal wire in between them. Ah, like it should not be hard. Like do I need pliers? Let's get it chopping. Now imagine if this doesn't work. Did it work? The wire's still there. Why are these Dollar Tree flowers so indestructible? Come on. This might not work, guys. This is heartbreaking. How hard is metal to cut? What cuts metal? Maybe if I just like rip it, but it's connected by a wire. Like guys, what? Oh, did that work? No, it literally didn't. It's all wire. It's like, it's all connected by wire. This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. Photos, you ready? Like there has to be a way. What cuts metal? Not this, these little scissors don't, I know that. <laughs> like I'm really at a loss here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, I just did something. I don't know what I did. It somehow pulled off. Oh, I think it like pulled itself out of the wire. That looks awful. This is a lot harder than I thought. I thought it would magically stick inside my hair. It's not doing that. Okay, the tops come off really easily. So we might just have to work with that. We might be getting somewhere, you guys. It just comes off that easily. I spent so much time. And for what? I can't tell if I absolutely despise what's going on. There's really only so much places to put them. I need an orange one here, since there's a white one here. I'm like trying my hardest not to move an inch. But they're already moving. This is terrifying. Oh my god. The front one keeps falling out. The front one keeps falling out. How are we gonna solve this issue? We're gonna need an orange one right here, and I think we'll be good. I'm starting to look pretty. And this is how a vision comes alive. Look, I'm in midsummer. Shh. Let's go over to the other spot so we can do this before shit goes bad. I need a pillow or else my ass is gonna hurt. Okay, this is the view we got. We got this. Okay, here we are. There's still one. It's still light outside, but it's like almost 7.30 p.m., which means it'll be dark in like an hour and a half-ish. So, what I'm thinking, we save this one for later because we can do this one in the dark or the light, whereas the one outside, I need the sky to be blue. So, I think we're gonna do that shot next. I have this outfit ready. These were both at the thrift store. The white pants were only $6. I've been wanting white pants for the longest time, and this was literally only $2. Not the pants fitting perfectly around my waist. Okay, we're ready to go and shoot outside. Hey. We still got some daylight left. 
<laughs> There's no trees in the way right here. It's looking a little dark though, but I, obviously with editing, I'm, I can do anything. I got some glasses just in case. I have these ones that are scratched and dirty. Probably don't even fit on correctly. No, they don't. These are gonna be good. This might be my favorite shoot. I am just starting. sun has set. We finished the photo shoot just in time. I honestly think this might be one of my favorites. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but I just have a feeling. I'm going to take these clothes off, put some comfy clothes on. Actually, this shirt is pretty comfy. I can leave it, leave it on, honestly. We go eat dinner. Then later tonight, we will do our final photo shoot of the day, the sticker photo shoot. Hi, it's been a few hours since I talked to you last. It's now midnight. I spent the last couple hours editing the last two photo shoots. I did get some good photos. I still think my favorite so far is the first shoot, but all these turned out pretty good. I don't know what I'm gonna post tomorrow. I think I like the flower shoot a little bit better, but I don't think any of them are bad. Like, I think they're all worthy. Also, I decided that I'm not going to be doing the third photo shoot that I was planning on doing today. I keep forgetting that I slept only four hours last night, and I also have to pack because I'm going to Vegas for the weekend for a family wedding. So I'm gonna do that photo shoot when I get back, as well as the final photo shoot, which I'm gonna be doing something crazy. <sighs> That's all. Hello. I have a lot of stickers on my face. As you can tell, I'm back from Vegas and I'm preparing myself for the next photo shoot. As you can see, there is no stickers right here. I have discovered since opening this pack of dollar store stickers that they are in fact from the dollar store and they suck. They do not stick at all. Anything right here, if I slightly move my mouth, the slightest way. They go away. I'm honestly think I'm gonna get glue so I can finish applying the rest so they stay because this is not gonna work. My hair is feeling extra nice and curly. I didn't even use a curling eye. Like this, it's just, it's just doing its thing and it's doing it nicely. So I'm glad. I set up the silver glittery wall as well as the purple wall over here because I have a feeling, I just think that I'm gonna like the glitter better because this is glitter so it matches. So I think I'm gonna like that a lot better than the purple, but we'll try both. I also for this shoot have my clear button up shirt right here. It was originally for Coachella 2020. That never happened. I'm glad that it's finally getting put to a good use. This shirt is so... <gasps> the material is so cold. My nipples are getting it so hard. Wow, the buttons are also on the left side on this shirt as well. My nips are in fact slipping. I'm wondering if I use my chapstick. Maybe that'll work. Oh yeah, I don't think it's working. What are we going to do? What are we gonna do? I found the glue. Will the glue even work? Who knows at this point? Okay, glue might work. Why is it falling off already? Your Elmer's glue, get it together. Why do I feel it falling off right now? Why is it lifting? You're a billion dollar glue company for gold's sake. Get your fucking shit together. I really don't want to wash all the glue off my face either. Will I sleep with glue on my face? It's a possibility. I just can't move my mouth, which I keep doing. <laughs> How am I gonna do a photo shoot without moving my face? I'm gonna do a big one and cover it up right there. Mm. Oh guys, this is bad. Really bad quality stickers. Unlike these MOA stickers that you get for free whenever you order something at MOA.shop. These stickers, they stick. <laughs> Even though it's in an awkward spot, it's staying there. That's a quality sticker. Wow. But it does not match my photo shoot. Okay, so we decided not to do this because it just wasn't sticking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pull half my hair up, kind of like that. Uh. Let's move over to the Olivia Rodrigo set. I think the glitter one worked out really good though, hopefully. Do you get deja vu? Ah. Are you eating deja vu? <laughs> no, if only I had some strawberry ice cream in Malibu. I think we're done here. I'm gonna go in bed, edit these photos, and then we only have one more shoot left. <laughs>
Good morning. It's actually almost 3 p.m. Once again, I was up until 5.30 in the morning editing last night's photo shoot. I ended up taking 260 photos, so this one was more like the first photo shoot where I had so many options. This might be my favorite photo shoot out of the four five that I've done. And I'm sitting here like, what ones do I post? Like Instagram only allows 10 photos at once. There's like 84 good ones here. I don't know what to do with that. <sighs> I didn't post on Instagram for two days. I gave everyone a little break, but I'm back to posting today. And after I do that, we're gonna do our final photo shoot. And I'm kinda nervous. You'll see. For the last and final shoot, I wanted to go big. So today, I am going to be bleaching my eyebrows. <laughs> It might look awful. It might not. But it's just for a photo shoot. I just went the family dollar and I'm gonna dye them back right when I'm done. But when I dye it back, who knows if it's gonna work. Will they ever look like this again? I mean, yeah, because eyebrows are really short hairs and they will grow back, but it's not gonna be like this. Maybe I should use like a toothbrush. Oh yeah, because I bought one. For this one, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear with it. I bought bubble gum when I like bought everything else. So maybe I'll incorporate that into this shoot since I haven't in any of the others. Are you ready for this? Well, I can't back out now. Avery Ovar bleached her eyebrows. A few comments in the past have actually said that me and Avery look related. And I can like kind of see it at some points. I mean, we're both from Utah, so who knows? Maybe we are. Her bleached eyebrows look good. So maybe since some people are seeing similarities between us, maybe mine will look good too. So I'm kind of going for like icy, this photo shoot, but also like spring vibes like bubblegum. I think I'm gonna wear a beanie because as we all can see, my roots are very grown in, but I want it to just be blonde. So I'm gonna wear a beanie. I think if it looks like shit, then I won't. I guess. I posted the first set of photos from last night and people are loving it. Might be my favorite out of the bunch so far. It really gave me like euphoria vibes. They are lifting. I put saran wrap over it because you need something over it so they stay moist and wet or else the bleach does not work. They're, they're lightning, let me tell ya. Lightning McQueen! Gotcha! Wait. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna hate this that bad. Maybe I won't dye them back. I'll just keep them bleached forever. It's kind of the editorial moment that we all need. <laughs> well, I don't hate it, is the thing. And let me just give myself some props. The color, I added some toner in it after, so it would match. And it worked out, it's very like not as yellowy as before. I just looked like I was born blonde. What? Wait, why do I look like my grandma Brenda? <gasps> I can't stop seeing it now, I'm freaking out! No, like, that's insane. I'm, I'm pulling up a picture. I like can't st- Oh wow. Oh, I can't see very good because the phone's in my face. <laughs> I looked in the mirror, <laughs> and I like saw Grandma Brenda, and now I can't stop seeing it. <laughs> Don't you agree? Now that's all I'm seeing. <laughs> you should work. I honestly don't like hate it though. Like I don't think it looks awful. You look like Grandma Brenda. You think so? Like I. Or did you just hear him say that? No, you kind of do. No, I actually kind of do. Don't you think? That's insane. He's so confused. I know. Why are you wearing a coat? It makes you look more pale. Like, like, <laughs> white. Like, you probably look like Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello. So, <laughs> I just, I just bleached my eyebrows for a video, right? Yeah. And I looked in the mirror after I was done, and I looked exactly like you, and now I can't stop seeing it. Oh my like, god. Like, I look exactly like you with bleached eyebrows. Oh. Oh my god, you'll have to send a picture. I will, it's insane. They're blonde. They were blonde when I was young, too. Oh my god, they're cute. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, with the blue eyes and blonde eyebrows and hair, I look- I always told you look like me. It's weird. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. You got to. 
This look is quite interesting. I look like one of Lady Gaga's American Horror Story Hotel children, so that's always fun. For this photo shoot, we're gonna go into my backyard. I'm kind of imagining like a preppy type of look. I have shorts and a belt on. Also, I only have one sock because the rest is in the washer. I feel like I look like so many different people at once. And it's freaking me out. Which do we look better? Black might be better because it goes with the black Nike sign and my black shorts. I just look so weird right now. I can't, I can't do it. I like the gray beanie better, but the black looks better with this thing, I think. Wow, this lighting is really bad. It's kind of bad like everywhere too. It's like right at the moment before golden hour, but it's just all shadowy and bad. I have my double bubble. I am not good at blowing bubbles, so I'm really gonna try my best here. But I feel like these will really add to the aesthetic. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my entire tripod on my tramp and the photos I'm gonna be laying down right here. And I don't know how this is gonna go. If I put it right here, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get up and tap it every time. It's gonna be exhausting. And for the second, double, 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 double in my mouth. Ugh, sorry. I think this one's gonna be the most difficult to achieve. The other ones I didn't really have to use much effort, but here, this is a new look. I have to really try my best. I also can't blow bubbles. I'm gonna have to use the camera timer. I'm gonna have to try and blow a big bubble in that amount of time at the exact right time before it pops. My mom is back there barbecuing. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog is the brand. Okay. I now have gum stuck to my lips, but I think it actually worked out. Let's go see. <laughs> Goodbye to my bleached eyebrows. Bye. Bye. They kind of look weird anyway. I mean, at least from a distance, you didn't look like you had eyebrows, that's for sure. From the top, make it drop. From <laughs> It's been a few hours since we did our last photo shoot. I haven't looked at them yet, but I think they're gonna be really good, like one of my favorite ones. So once again, I will probably be editing all of them until like five in the morning. Take one last look. The blonde eyebrows are going goodbye. <coughs> ah! This one won't last. It. I edited yesterday's pictures. They turned out great, and I posted the first one on Instagram. And I honestly think that the last photo shoot was everyone's favorite. So I guess I saved the best for last. Shar. That's it, you guys. Oh my god, what a journey that was. It was so fun trying out this new camera. The pictures turned out amazing. This was such a fun video. My Instagram. I will say, a lot more people did comment on these Instagram photos than the shitty ones in January and February. And I got the value validation that I want. But for real, I honestly feel quite proud of myself. I did like five photo shoots, but with each different outfit, I ended up doing like two different spots for that photo shoot. So basically like 10 photo shoots and a lot of photos. I've been editing so many photos, it's insane. Definitely over a thousand. And I edited my aunt's wedding photos in Vegas too. So I was just a full on editor this week and a creative director. I'm just, I'm just out here doing all of the things. So I am going to give myself a pat on the back for that. I think I did good. I feel like I made every one of my visions come to life. Life. Let me know which your favorite shoot is. I guess it's time to say goodbye. I had a great time. Bye.